All right, as we're continuing on in our trip through Ephesians, we look at Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. And here's what it says. And be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God also forgave you in Christ. We hit Romans chapter 12, verses 3 through 10. And as we're looking at this idea, it, that verse from Ephesians really reminded me of it. Here's what it says. For by the grace given to me, I tell everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think or than he should think. Instead, think sensibly as God has distributed a measure of faith to each one. Now, as we have many parts in one body and all the parts do not have the same function, in the same way, we who are many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. This draws a picture. It's so easy for us to make ourselves the center of our universe. It's natural. Not because we want to be egotistical and not because we want to think we're more important than everyone else. It's just that everywhere we go, we're at the center of that situation. Whether or not we're vocal as a leader or quiet, we are always at the center of where we are. And as a result, we understand how we relate to what's going on, but we don't always understand how other people are relating. So it's easy when we look at this, it says, do not think more highly of yourself than you should. Sometimes we think that what we've done is a big deal and it must be protected. Other times we look at the hurt that's happened in our life and we feel like we should just crawl into the fetal position. And then the whole world relates to those types of scenarios. This says something else though. Now, as we have many parts in one body and all the parts do not have the same function in the same way, we who are many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. The way that I first memorized that verse was that each one belongs to one another. It's an interesting thought when you begin to look at your own life and how you used to think that you were kind of the center of everything, but then you begin to realize I'm connected to all of these other people. They also are part of the body of Christ. They also are part of what is to be moving. They also are led by the head, which is Christ himself. And so I may sometimes be offended by what other parts of the body do, but what I have to also remember is that I belong to them and they to me. That I need them and they need me. That together we can walk in Christ only when we are submitted to his leadership. It goes on and says, according to the grace given to us, we have different gifts. If prophecy, use it in according to the proportion of one's faith. If service, use it in service. If teaching in teaching, if exhorting in exhortation, giving with generosity, leading with diligence, showing mercy with cheerfulness. Then in verse 9 it says this, let love be without hypocrisy. Detest evil, cling to what is good, love one another deeply as brothers and sisters. Take the lead in honoring one another. Sometimes I hear people say, I just wish I knew what the will of God was for my life. I don't think God is hiding it. In fact, we know for sure. This chapter lays out pretty clearly how he wants us to live, how he wants us to love, how he wants us to interact with one another. And I challenge you to do that very same thing today.